everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. Before I start with our today's video, I would like to thank all our viewers who have liked and subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't done it so far, please don't forget to subscribe for our new releases every week. Also friends, we would love to hear about your experiences and comments or any of your suggestions for any plant videos that you would like us to cover in our upcoming videos. Please do let us know by commenting in the comment section and we will get back to you as soon as possible. So friends, in organic gardening, we always try to find different ways to deal with plant problems, plant pests and other soil problems, uh, which does not involve the use of synthetic chemicals that can harm our plants. We always try to look for something organic which can help us get rid of those problems and also keep our environment and plants safe. Now here baking soda plays a very important role. Baking soda is a natural uh, product uh, with a chemical composition of sodium bicarbonate. Now, with baking soda, because it is 100% biodegradable, it is non-toxic and uh, it is inexpensive organic substance which can be safely used in our garden. So let's uh, talk about its uses now. Baking soda acts as an effective uh, pesticide and has got the ability to kill almost all sorts of plant pests such as aphids, thrips, uh, scales, mealybugs, fungus gnats um, and many more. Uh, it is also considered as an effective fungicide as it can help to remove uh, powdery mildews, black and brown spots, leaf miners, soil fungus uh, and other fungus, fungal infections um, on your plants. Uh, now to prepare an effective pesticide solution, um, you can add two teaspoons of baking soda and one teaspoon of any oil. You can use neem oil, you can use cooking oil, you can use eucalyptus oil, you can use clove oil, tea tree oil, any sort of oil that you've got at home. Just one teaspoon of that one and 10 to 15 drops of hand wash liquid or dishwash liquid. Uh, mix all these ingredients and add it in one liter of water. Mix it well, stir it and then spray it on top of your leaves or wherever uh, the affected part like uh, wherever you can find uh, the pests or uh, fungus and all these things. Just spray it in that area. Always be mindful that before you start spraying on your affected plant, always do a leaf uh, a patch test just spray on one of the leaf of your plant and then see whether the leaf is okay or it wilts or it's get, it gets burnt. If the leaf wilts or burns, just dilute it a little bit more and then uh, do the patch test again and see if the leaf is okay. And if the leaf is fine, you can spray it on all of your plant. To clean your house plant foliage, you can add half teaspoon of baking soda in one liter of water, stir it well and then spray it on the foliage and wipe it down with a soft damp cloth. Um, now this will not only help in proper and better photosynthesis but also it will help to prevent any fungal and bacterial uh, infections uh, on your plant. Soda also acts as an effective weed killer. So just sprinkle a little bit of baking soda on top of your weeds um, and you will see that the weeds will die within a few days. It is also effective in getting rid of the crabgrass. Uh, just sprinkle the baking soda on top of the crabgrass and you will see it die within a few days. Um, make sure that you sprinkle the baking soda during the evening times and not when the sun is too intense and also do not put the baking soda during um, raining se rainy season because it's going to wash away the baking soda and it will not be effective to kill all your weeds. Also make sure that you do not sprinkle it on your uh, plants um, because high concentration of baking soda can kill all your plants. You can also uh, make use of baking soda to get rid of slugs and snails that can munch on your beautiful plant foliage or your veggie patch. 
what you can do is just sprinkle a little bit of baking soda around um, your plant or the pot just make a circle around it of baking soda so that the slugs and snails cannot get into the pot or your plant uh, some people also recommend to sprinkle the baking soda on top of the slugs and snails well this method seems a little bit cruel to me so I would suggest you to just make a circle and that's it Baking soda solution can also help to clean your garden tools, your outdoor furniture and your plant pots. Uh, you can make a solution of baking soda and uh, dishwash liquid in one liter of water and then spray it on your terracotta pots. It will help to remove the algae stains and also the soil stains from the pots and also you can use the same spray to clean your garden tools and also your outdoor furniture. It will also help to sterilize your plastic pots so just spray it, give it a good rinse with water and then let it sun dry so it will help to sterilize your plastic pots and your garden tools as well. of the cabbage worms prepare a mixture of uh, flour and baking soda in the ratio of 1 is to 1 so if you take 1 teaspoon of flour take 1 teaspoon of baking soda mix it and then sprinkle it on top of your cabbage leaves or cauliflower or uh, even broccoli and uh, you can use it for other plants as well uh, that get affected by the worms so sprinkle it on top the worms will um, the cabbage worms they will eat those uh, that mixture and they will die within two days of dehydration baking soda also helps to enhance flower blooming what you need to do is add a teaspoon of baking soda in a liter of water and then spray it on top of your closed buds the closed flower buds and it will enhance the flower bloom it is also helpful for um, making your cut flowers stay longer so for that what you can do is add a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of baking soda in your uh, flower vase in in the water uh, in, and then put your flowers in there so you, you will see that your flowers will bloom and uh, stay fresh for a longer period of time i hope you enjoyed watching this video please do give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more informational videos and we will see you next time with another exciting video till then stay safe happy gardening Bye-bye.